Welcome, dear listeners, to Terrifying Tales. This is a journey into the eerie and the unknown. We explore the dark corners of our world and beyond. We delve into spine-chilling tales, not for the faint-hearted. It's a spooky ride. Our first tale begins now. Are you ready? Are you ready to step into the realm of the unknown, to hear chilling tales from those who've dared to look beyond? This is an invitation to journey with us into the shadows, where the line between reality and the supernatural blurs, where the familiar turns uncanny, and where fear takes on a whole new meaning. You may be sitting comfortably now, but as we delve deeper into these stories, you might find yourself looking over your shoulder, listening for the silent whispers of the unseen. So brace yourself as we traverse the thin veil that separates the living from the dead, the known from the unknown. We're about to embark on an exploration of the inexplicable, the paranormal, and the downright terrifying. Remember, once you cross this threshold, there's no turning back. Are you ready to embrace the chill of the unknown to confront the unseen? If so, let us begin our journey with the tale of a seasoned paranormal investigator, a man who dared to confront the unseen presence in an ancient haunted mansion. Have you ever experienced a shiver coursing down your spine? A feeling of a spectral presence that stirs a creeping dread? Have you ever felt the atmosphere around you grow suddenly dense and cold, as if the very air you breathe is inhabited by an invisible entity? Have you ever been engulfed by a wave of terror that springs from the abyss of nowhere, making you feel like an unwelcome guest in your own space? Now, conjure up an image of a seasoned paranormal investigator, a man who has sacrificed his normalcy to unravel the mysteries of the supernatural. He is not one to be easily unsettled. He has looked death in the face countless times. A believer and a skeptic in equal measure, he tirelessly seeks proof, chasing elusive answers to questions that dare to defy logic. Now, envision this seasoned investigator stepping foot into a realm that sends icy tendrils of fear down even his hardened spine. An ancient mansion, desolate and crumbling, standing defiantly in the midst of a savage wilderness. A house that has silently witnessed the relentless march of time, its walls resonating with hushed secrets of centuries past. It is rumoured to be haunted, cursed perhaps, a place where the boundaries separating the living and the dead are as tenuous as a fading whisper. He crosses the threshold of the mansion, its heavy oak door groaning ominously against the deafening silence, alone, armed with nothing but his investigative tools, his accumulated wisdom, and an unwavering courage. He stands before the mansion, a veritable maze of shadowy rooms concealing secrets that time has forgotten. The air, stagnant and heavy with the stench of decay and antiquity, permeates the silence with a chilling reminder of his solitude. As he delves deeper into the mansion's depths, he senses a shift. The ambient temperature begins to plummet inexplicably. The air grows colder, the frosty chill gnawing at his very marrow. His breath becomes visible a ghostly mist in the wavering beam of his flashlight that flickers intermittently, casting an eerie gloom. Yet he remains resolute, his every stride a bold defiance against the mounting fear. An uncanny sensation starts to gnaw at him, an undeniable feeling of being accompanied an unseen entity. It swells with each passing moment, as if the mansion itself has come alive, observing him, probing him. The sensation is disconcertingly palpable. It seems to enfold him like a cold shroud, while sudden gusts of icy wind whip around him, making the flickering light dance in macabre patterns. Suddenly, he freezes, his breath hitching, ears straining in the oppressive silence. The mansion seems to hold its breath with him, shrouded in an eerie quiet, punctuated only by the lonesome howl of a wolf echoing in the distance. His heart pounds thunderously, a relentless drumming against the unsettling silence. Gathering his nerve, he takes a deep, shaky breath. He is not alone, he never was. He can feel the spectral presence, as real as the biting cold, gnawing as tangible as the fear clotting in his veins. He can almost reach out to it, this invisible entity. It's there, lurking just beyond his field of vision, a phantom in his periphery. And then, just when he thinks he has braced himself for the worst, it happens. Abruptly, he feels it, an icy, spectral hand resting on his shoulder. 
It's a touch, as bone-chilling as the mansion itself, a horrifying validation of the terror that has been lurking in his heart. It's the touch of the unseen, a chilling contact from a realm that lies beyond the veil of our understanding. Picture yourself cocooned in a room. The atmosphere is thick, filled with a blend of dread and anticipation as you prepare to touch the other side. The temperature suddenly drops, a chill so profound that it sends shivers racing down your spine, goosebumps sprouting on your skin, the murmur of anticipation reverberating in your ears. You are not alone. Accompanying you in this eerie journey are audacious spirits, people who, akin to you, feel a pull towards the cryptic, enigmatic, the supernatural. Each soul present stems from diverse paths of life, yet bound by a solitary, steadfast faith, the belief in the existence of the other side. They are paranormal investigators, seasoned veterans of myriad brushes with the supernatural. The room chosen for this seance is not an ordinary one. It's an abandoned hospital ward, a place that has witnessed countless lives transition, a place teeming with untold stories and concealed secrets. The room around you is a silent abyss, punctuated only by the periodic creak and moan of the age-old building. The atmosphere is electrifying, the anticipation almost tangible. It feels as if as if the very walls of the room are charged, bracing themselves for any eventuality. The singular source of light is a lone flickering candle strategically positioned at the center of the room. It projects an eerie luminescence, bathing the room in a phantasmal light. Its wavering flame creates elongated monstrous shadows that dance on the walls, twisting and contorting, constantly morphing. Suddenly, without any forewarning, a potent gust of wind sweeps through the room. It cuts through the silence, its icy touch sending a chill down your spine, like fingers tracing your vertebrae. The candle's flame, once a solitary source of light in the enveloping darkness, is snuffed out. The room is plunged into an abyss, an impenetrable void where shadows come alive. The air becomes dense, the oppressive. A sense of unease oozes into the room, seeping through every crevice and corner. The abrupt darkness is a jolt, a stark contrast to the faint comfort the candle's glow offered. The tension is nearly suffocating, a leaden weight weight that pushes down on your chest, making breathing a struggle. A deafening silence overwhelms the room, the only sound being the pounding of your heart echoing in the quiet. Time seems to freeze, the world outside forgotten. You're trapped in a timeless moment, a frame in time, where each breath, every throb of your heart is amplified. As the silence seems infinite, an anomaly shatters it. It's a voice, chillingly uncanny. It's a voice that sends a wave of terror down your spine, a voice devoid of any warmth or humanity. It's a spectral response, the voice louder, more terrifying, a message from the other side, a ghostly roar in the abyss. In the crippling silence, a voice echoed, guttural and spectral, sending waves of fear across the room. Suddenly a burst of unexplained noises resonates, the spectral voice growing in intensity and volume. This is your tryst with the supernatural, your encounter with the other side. It's an experience that will haunt you forever, a memory ingrained deep into your soul, a testament to the existence of things that defy our understanding. Can there be anything more spine-chilling than a child's laughter echoing through the desolation of an abandoned house? This perturbing notion had found a dwelling in the mind of a seasoned investigator, a man who had encountered sights and sounds that would fill the bravest hearts with dread. Trained in the disciplines of science and logic, he was innately sceptical about the supernatural, often attributing eerie occurrences to the convoluted recesses of the human mind, unpredictable weather conditions or the inevitable decay of old structures he probed. This particular night, however, found him questioning his staunch convictions. Confronted by a forsaken dwelling nestled in the forgotten heart of a faded town, the investigator was drawn to the myriad local legends that breathed life into the stagnant air around this ghostly residence. The formidable Victorian structure, with its towering spires and menacing aura, emanated a disquieting sense of melancholy and despair. Its pitch-black windows and groaning gate stood in sinister silence, an eerie sentinel amidst the overgrown wilderness. As he inched towards the house, an icy chill crept up his spine, prickling the hairs on his neck. Dismissing this discomfort as a mental trick, 
he applied force against the resisting front door, which creaked ominously and stepped into the shadowy interior of the dwelling. The stench of decay and desolation hit him instantly, while his torch's wavering light revealed faded wallpaper and dust-laden furniture relics. His footsteps echoed ominously through the hushed house, the only disruption in the otherwise silent property. Then, abruptly, the stillness was shattered. A soft, childlike laughter filled the vacant expanse, playful yet chilling. The sound was akin to a cold wind, inducing goosebumps. Compelled by curiosity, he traced the laughter, each echo drawing him deeper into the house's darkness. The laughter guided him up a creaking, winding staircase, each groaning step stirring dust particles that floated in the stale air like spectral apparitions. His heart throbbed wildly as he neared the door at the corridor's end. This was the attic, the reputed epicentre of the house's haunting. With a laboured breath, he pushed against the attic door. The room was consumed by darkness, the oppressive scent of forgotten books and rotten memories hanging heavily. He switched on his torch, its flickering beam revealing dancing dust particles. Amidst the decay, half hidden beneath a heap of old blankets and cobwebs, lay an antiquated toy, a grim symbol of the phantom child's existence. The toy, a formerly adored teddy bear, now faded and worn, lay forgotten in the passage of time. Its glassy eyes stared vacantly into the room, its once plush fur now matted and dull. This forsaken artifact intensified the room's haunting aura, making the investigator's heart pound even harder. It was a palpable reminder of the child's laughter, now conspicuously missing. Engulfed by the attic's ominous silence, the investigator stood, the laughter now a distant echo. His mind was a whirlwind of questions and theories, the logical part of him grappling with the unearthly experience. Sudden draughts of icy chill and the creaking floorboards underfoot breathed life into the room's dark corners, adding an extra dimension of fear. The toy remained half buried in dust and gloom, a distressing reminder of the phantom child's existence. The laughter so innocent yet unsettling had drawn him on a horrifying journey to the attic. There. Shrouded in cobwebs and forgotten memories lay an old toy, a grim testament to the phantom child's existence. These tales are not mere fabrications, but chilling accounts from those who dare to step into the realm of the unknown. We've navigated through the unseen presence, shivered at the terrifying seance, and felt the icy touch of the phantom child. Each tale a testament to the inexplicable, a chilling reminder that the paranormal world intertwines with ours. So as night falls, remember you are never truly alone, for in the shadows unseen entities may lurk, awaiting their chance to make their presence known. We hope you enjoyed these chilling tales from the realm of the unknown. If you did, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more terrifying tales. Each click on that subscribe button is a step further into the abyss a pledge to confront the unseen and the unexplained, like this video to let us know you want more. Each like is an echo in the darkness, a signal that you too crave the thrill of the uncanny. And don't forget to leave a comment about your thoughts on these ghostly encounters. Your comments are the whispers in the shadows, the voices that connect us in our shared fascination with the otherworldly. Until next time, remember the unknown is closer than you think. The veil between our world and the next is thin, and who knows what might be waiting on the other side. So keep your eyes open, your senses sharp, and your mind open to the extraordinary. Good night, brave explorers of the unknown. And remember, in the world of the paranormal, you are never truly alone.